Okay. Documentary on anti static test. First of all, let's see that I'm earthed out using a heel strap. And we are, of course, using an anti static bench. So let me get this camera sorted and we'll begin. straw in the paper, it's just a standard subway straw, take the end off, take the straw out, make sure I rub it a few times, put it on the, um, the, uh, make it, make sure that it's actually, um, sitting so there's not much resistance or anything like that. Okay. Now. Hopefully you can see the straw. I'm doing the whole tensing my fists off, doing the hands, See this. I'm gonna make sure this isn't short. Urgh. Tensing it up. Okay, in the video he also squishes the straw. I don't know if that's supposed to help at all. Okay. Urgh. Urgh. Just do a top view. Urgh. Urgh. Static, static. Ooh. No. Okay. One of the things suggested in the video. Should have probably picked a different background, but at any rate. Is that. To rub some paper on it. To make it. Static eye. Make it, you know. Get it static again. Okay. Ooh. 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 Okay. Really, what I'm trying to show is that the anti static strap and the uh, anti static mat are good controls for static. So, if you see a test being done on an anti static strap, mat with an anti-static strap, static is most likely going to be discounted.